I've been up and down and struggling to stay positive throughout this pandemic. I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate. Whenever I feel down or overwhelmed or disconnected, God finds a way to help me through it. Sometimes in small ways and sometimes in amazing grand ways. My kids, my miracle babies, they have been so supportive of these devotionals and are trying to get me to sit down and write or read and be inspired or will come up and give me ideas of their own on what I should talk about each week. And sometimes they'll just come up to me and randomly ask me if I've done my devotional yet this week and will give me a hug of encouragement to try to get me to do it. How does God know? What perfect buttons to push at me to get my reluctant, sometimes lazy, procrastinating self to do what I need to do. Just always the right little nudge to go help me go in the right direction. My daughter told me that I should talk about some amazing moments in my life and how God made those moments happen. So why is that little one? I told her trying to do that would be endless because I know he is doing amazing things in my life constantly. Having her was amazing miracle. But every day that she is with me is crazy amazing. She's growing and becoming this incredible, beautiful person. And every day, the miracle of her is topped by the next. I'm sometimes in disbelief when I head into work. I've prayed since I could remember to let me be a doctor. And here I am, doctoring. I know it was by his grace that I'm doing what I dreamed of doing. And it's by his grace that I'm, I get to serve the people that he sends my way. And his grace that they're taken care of. There's really no black and white in medicine. Like people, there are always exceptions and it's a game of probabilities and possibilities. You make the best decision you can at the moment and you'll see what happens. You know, there's those moments though, where you have that nagging gut feeling like you could do this and it would be completely reasonable. But there's that feeling like you need to do that one additional thing. And then you pick up a lymphoma pick up before it becomes a higher degree cancer. You could pat yourself on your back and take the credit or you could say, oh, what good luck. But we don't believe in luck. We believe in God. He leads me. He guides me, and as long as I'm listening and keeping my eyes on him, he will do things through me that I can't do on my own. God is amazing. He is good. All the time he is good. The way he provides for me in big and small, everyday ways just humbles and floors me. I'm nothing without him. I have nothing without him. From the moment I wake and take my first breath, he is with me. This Christmas, praise and honor 
the one who the season is about. Try to let go of the things the world has turned Christmas into. But be in awe of the one who made you and sustains you and whose love was manifest in the child born on Christmas Day. Psalms 145, the Psalm of Praise of David. I will exalt you, my God, the King. I will praise your name forever and ever. Every day I will praise you and extol your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. His greatness no one can fathom. If you have time today, read through Psalms 145 and praise the Lord. He is almighty, he is all good, and he loves you so. Have a blessed day.